Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Julian's Caddy Sport and Tisha combo. This is your caddy sport, which is quite rare. A lot of the people watching this are probably from America as well, so they, they aren't familiar with the caddy sport. No. They had the sport truck. But this is the UK's version, or is it Europe as well? I think it was just UK. Okay. They allegedly made 200 of them uh, for the UK market. We're not sure whether those 200 were ever made. Uh, we're trying to track that down. But yes, this is a right-hand drive only. Are using a Zender body kit modified and various bits from Volkswagen. I think the wheels are the same as Sirocco Storm, the interiors, bits of Polo, bits of Sirocco. Okay. Um, but, it, but it's got the 1.8 GTI uh, injected engine in it as yes. standard for the five speed yes. box. And this is how it came from the factory. I haven't modified it at all. Really? So is your like quest to try and sort, is your, your main thing like to make everything OEM and original? That is now, yes. Um, we all went through a phase of saying, oh, I'd like different wheels and yeah. lower it and this, that, that. But now I think the Caddy is a bona fide classic. And the best way to keep a classic is to keep it as original as possible, is my view at the moment. Excellent. And how long have you had this for? I've had this caddy, I started with a, just a bog standard 1.6, had hmm. this one for about 15 years. 15? Yeah. Wow. And the Tisha I got just three years ago. Been looking for one because I knew they made the Tisha specifically for a caddy. Yeah. Uh, which is why it fits like a glove and a lot of people think it's a permanent feature but it's not. It actually demounts, yeah. you can put legs on it and then drive away. Yeah, um, but it is timber framed and a lot of them suffered from what so you've done a lot of work We've uh, seen but you know the things that you've done So perhaps what I'll do is I'll put on the screen now a few photos of what it looked like when you got it Yeah, and then you know what it is now. It's incredible what you've done and I like the uh, the decals on the side The decals are a, a copy of a later model But it fits well with the sport decals if I ever get around to putting them on. Yeah, so. Oh, it's great. Do you go camping in it quite a lot? or um, Three, four times a year. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've found I need to have dry storage for it for the winter. Uh, it doesn't yes. like sitting outside for... Um, but it's amazing. Uh, amazing piece of kit. The truck does drive like a fully laden truck when it's on, yeah. which it is. Um, so you're not going to win any races. Um, <laughs> I have modified the rear suspension only by putting Munro load adjustable shocks from the States on, right. yes. which you can pump up with an air hose and just stiffens up. This is the behind the seat job? Behind the seat, yeah. Wow. So I don't have an onboard pump, I just go to an airline and pump it up. Of course. Tell us, because there's going to be people out there that want to know numbers, tell us about the wheels and the wheel size, the tyre size. The wheels, um, I've gone back to completely original, those are just 5.5 J13 alloy wheels, the same as you got on the Mark I Sirocco Storm. Yeah. Uh, and then with proper sized tyres, it fits the arches nicely, but it's uh, away from modern stand of having big wheel and skinny tyres. Yeah. But it, it actually gives you a better ride and, and all the potholes in the UK at the moment actually saves the wheels, mm -hmm. you know, so. Did you say this is one of many caddies that you've got? I have literally over the last six months mm. i am convinced that the caddy sport is rare and valuable yeah and so i've taken some money out of my pension okay and i've invested it instead of in stocks and shares i've invested it in three other caddy sports so you have four caddy sports i have four caddy sports this is the only one which is they're all drivable yeah but this is the only one that's rot free and roadworthy that's mad so they all need a probably in the today's market 10k spending on them right yeah but i'm hoping they're going to be 20 north when mm -hmm. they're done yeah is this the nicest looking one out of all of them oh yeah definitely yeah. I suppose you can just pick parts and put put them what, all in the 
What I'm trying not to do mm. is to rob parts off mm. one of the ones I've got because then you end up with a complete, what the airline would call a hanger queen. You've taken so many bits off it. Right. You'd never get it running again. Right. But it is useful if I'm, I've got a cold start issue so I can actually steal a cold start valve off one and try it without having to buy one and yeah. everything else. So. Do you know many other people in the UK that have got the Caddy Sport? I've bumped into maybe four or five at various meets yeah but i don't think there's many more we're trying to find out it's very hard to track people down mm. i don't think there's more than about 20 25. that's mad in it and so rare and unfortunately people the caddy was didn't sell well it was overpriced it was over eleven thousand in 1989 really? which is a lot of money yeah and it didn't meet either criteria being it wasn't sporty enough it wasn't utilitarian enough it just sort of fell between two stools and people bought them got them cheap and they said oh i don't like the body kit or i don't like this and they've taken bits off and thrown them away so wow so now trying to get a body kit is almost impossible mm. the interior seats are okay because they're on a mark ii golf but the door cards are impossible really absolutely impossible to find Goodness me. Do you, you know much about the history of the Caddy Sport? Was it, were you saying yesterday that Volkswagen intent, didn't really have a plan for this? They just sort of chucked stuff together and... The story I've heard, and these are all just internet rumours, the story yeah. I've heard was that a bit like the GTI, the engineer said, oh, we can do something with this. Yeah. Um, and they said, okay, go away, play, see what you come up with. So they came up with the Zender body kit is yeah. the same as the the clipper, the cabriolet kit, yep. uh, from the front back, then they Zender made a special rear arch for it. Um, and that's the bit you can't find, because you can find a body, a clipper body kit, which takes you back to just before the front, the rear wheels. Yeah. Um, but the rear section, hen's teeth. But wow. I have an original one there, so I can get it copied, so it's not. Excellent, and of course, there's certain differences between a standard UK caddy and a, and a caddy sport. Obviously, the rear bumper being one of those. The rear bumper was a, a bumper tow bar. Yes. Uh, modular item. Um, again, they're quite rare, quite desirable because it fits really nicely with a roll pan. If you take the square bumpers off the back, yeah, you can just put your tubular bumper on the back with a built-in swan neck. And of course, you were saying the, your mirrors for having the Tisha, you've got T25 yeah, mirrors. Yeah, the, the, the Caddy Sport, even though it was a Sport, came with the Elephant Ear mirrors. Mm -hmm. And I've just modified those with T25 units, just so they're slightly longer, so I can see past the Caddy, the mm. Tisha. But you got the white ones at home? Yeah, yeah, I've got the original ones at home. But they shouldn't be white, they should be black, but I, I went through a colour coordination phase. Oh, I see, So right. the door handles are wrong on the car for any eagle-eyed people. <laughs> well, speaking of the Tisha, let's have a look inside, shall we? Yeah, sure. Let's give us the grand tour, the MTV-style cribs. Welcome to my office. <laughs> so this is, this is the Tisha 235. 235. Um, I'm in the bed of the truck now, so it overhangs the truck by about Americans to say two feet uh, for us, you know, 45, 60 centimeters. Um, so I'm in the bed of the truck, and in, with the pop top, I've got full standing headroom. So I've got yeah. more room than I have in a, you know, a normally camper in some ways. This is the overhang over the cab. That's where the double bed is. Very cleverly slides out halfway, um, and that gives you a full king size bed. Actually, this is also a pull out single bed. So if you don't want to make the bed up you can just pull out that. You have sink, cooker, grill. I'm a big fan of the brownness. That's yeah. very sort of 80s. Well, it's, the interior has never been touched. This is totally original. Yeah, it's lovely and brown, but it's got, it came complete with the original chopping board, which then fits over your drainer. So that all drains outside. Behind you, if you want to swill around, we've got a three-way fridge which is conveniently lo loaded with beer and wine, which is good. Amazing. Uh, so that works like any caravan fridge, it can be gas, can be mains, and it runs off the battery when the engine's running. So I had to do some wiring modifications, 
So it's just like a caravan really, you plug it into the vehicle, when the engine's running it charges the second battery and uh, runs the fridge. Wow, and you've got power points down there. You've got a power point, a couple of sockets are dotted around, so when I'm plugged in like it is here, um, you come to a campsite, plug in, and you can uh, of charge your phone and boil the kettle even. So, and it's also got a, an original gas heater, which is a bit temperamental, but when it works, cool, you warm up really quickly in here. Trumatic S2000. Yeah, so everything inside is original. So um, how many people can it sleep? Maximum of two or three? It can sleep three. You've got a single here and a double yeah. in the top. Uh, when I bought it, um, the guy actually had seat belts in the back, which is completely illegal uh, in the UK. Yeah, yes, the vehicle is still only rated to carry two people. Yeah. This is the thing, when I was talking to the guy before who had a, a, a Bischoff burger, mm. whereas he said um, it could sleep, I think he said it could sleep four, mm. but of course you can only have one passenger in the front, so yeah. it's like, where are they going to go? <laughs> Unless they drove with you in another car. This would actually make a perfect support vehicle. Yeah. If you've got some mad friend who wants to cycle the you know of course yeah yeah they can go cycling off and you just tickle around after them and set up camp so you've got the uh how to keep your is it the rabbit alive how to keep your volkswagen just says how to keep your volkswagen alive oh uh, uh, yes because obviously you've got the k jet i've got yeah i've got the k jet engine and this is one of the even though it looks like a comic it's one of the best books for oh yeah the illustrations are insane yeah i don't know if you, oh, you i've, you I've got, got a copy at home yeah, yeah. So. Great but that's stuff. that's almost going along with a the classic theme. You know, I love it. It's retro. It's classic. Absolutely. It's and then you've got a wardrobe, so you, you can have a porta potty, but we don't want to go into that. <laughs> so. Did I already ask about the year of the Caddy Sport? No. What year is this one? This one is registered January 90, 1990. So the way the UK uh, registration numbers, you can tell the year of a vehicle by the, the letter on the plate. Mm -hmm. So it's registered as an 89, because they go April to April, um, but that's too much detail. So it's 89, this one, probably built in 88 or 89. Mm -hmm. I believe they only built the Caddy Sport from 88 to 92. Oh, really? Um, oh, again, all European caddies were actually made in Yugoslavia, and there was a war on in the late 80s, early 90s. So production was halted abruptly in 91 or something. Wow. Uh, but you'd still see some 92 registered vehicles. Wow. History on the channel. Hmm. Tell us about the uh, the windscreen. Is that the original screen? Apparently so, yes. The Caddy Sport and some of the campaign uh, Golfs had a blue tint windscreen. Mm -hmm. So even though this one's been out because of a respray, we managed to get it out and in without breaking it, which is great. So it's an original top tint Windscreen, which I've never seen before on a Mark One. To be fair, I know it's a tiny little thing, and probably nobody really cares about it that much. But yeah, I've never seen that. We keep thinking it's really all the clouds up ahead are really dark and menacing, but think, oh no, it's just <laughs> the, it's just blue. Now, tell us about this. Then this is one of your latest purchases, is it? Yep, yeah, this is um, a canopy from Tough Trek, so UK importer. They are designed for roof racks basically the designed to just clamp on the side of if you've got a roof tent or something like that mm -hmm. so i just modified the mountings i thought it would fit quite nicely but it's a i think they call it a bat wing awning so it it sits on the side of the, the vehicle permanently you unzip the cover and you it's got a, a hinge at the the back and so it rotates all the way around mm -hmm. the side of the vehicle all the way around the back of the vehicle and yeah, then you break that and you get this sort of star shaped a hinge at the back but it means with a because I don't have a side door I can get out from the back walk around the vehicle mm -hmm. undercover and yeah. it gives you a, a as we found out last night a massive party area yeah so we were here last night a bunch of us having some uh, few bevies in the rain kept dry -ish. absolutely so but that all just folds back in and it's just a looks a bit like a pipe tube on the side of the vehicle when you're done yeah now, is there anything, any modifications or anything that you're going to be doing to this in the future? What's the plans? Or is it done? Is it done and dusted? It's virtually done and dusted. I would like to put some solar on the roof. Oh, yeah. And I might um, replace the fridge, which is 35 years old, with a pure electric 
modern fridge, mm -hmm. uh, which will be run off the solar or the, the vehicle batteries or plugged in when you're. So I'd like to possibly be able to go more uh, off-grid camping and I've only got a single you know, battery, but with LED lights these days, mm. yeah, a single car battery with one lights for a week on it, so it's... Wow. Amazing. Um, yeah, just a possibility of towing something, but then we're reaching the limit of our the poor little truck's capability. <laughs> Tell us about those. Um, I just wanted... At the time, I wanted flush handles. I thought, I think these are, guess what, Chinese, you know, copies, mm. but they're Corrado handles, or copies of Corrado handles, and they just fit perfectly. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice and plush. So yeah, it just fits in, but I'm on a mission to put the old ones back on. I see. To, to make it original. And are they the same as all Mark 1 handles? Yeah, they're, they're just gotcha. the trigger handles with a chrome insert. You were saying about the uh, interior, how you, yeah. the door cards are really hard to find. Yeah, the, the interior, the, this tartan pattern mm. is not very common, but it is available on Mark II Golf GTIs. Mm -hmm. um, and then they made these door cards with a similar single red stripe in it. So yes. you, you can't steal material from the seats and make a door card. So this door card pattern is... Ridiculously rare. Yeah. You probably could get somebody to make some up for you and it would probably cost you 300 pounds a meter or something, yeah. if not more. Bloody hell. But, um, but it's also slightly molded. So yeah. Very slight detent in here and round. Christ. So it's got some shaping in it. Wow. But the, the rest of the door hardware is straight out of a you know, Mark 1 Golf with the door pockets and then so. For the people out there that are unaware of the Caddy Sport, what are the differences between your standard UK Caddy and a Caddy Sport? Uh, first one is the engine. It's got the 1.8 injected um, engine. It's a JH engine code, which I believe is the same as the, the closest you can find is in a cabriolet. Right. Um, the wheels are obviously different, but the, the other main difference is the, the actual rear springs are slightly flatter. A lot of people want to lower their caddies because when it's empty it sits with mm -hmm. its tail end in the in the air. This sits flat when it's empty. Right. So uh, if you didn't want to lower your caddy or flip the axle, so if you didn't want to flip the axle you could, if you can ever find them, get some caddy sport springs it'll just lower the, the, the truck or just get a good spring manufacturer to yeah. make you opposite which is slightly flatter. Wow. It's easier. It's still, is it same gears? Same, it, exactly the same gearbox. It's just a five-speed gearbox. It's a five-speed. Yeah, because there are some caddies that have four-speed, aren't they? Yeah. No, the Sport came with a five-speed as standard. And of course, the interior. Same with the the American sport trucks. They have red accents in the inside. Red no trim. No, don't have any trim accents. Just the um, GTI tartan interior and the smaller steering wheel. And you do the the actual dash has the GTI dash, so you've got your rev counter and digital clock, but it's not MFA okay. for the purists. Wow. And the steering wheel? Steering wheel, um, believe it's used on a Polo GT. Okay. Um, but it's just a 14 inch, fairly nice, very nice, comfortable steering wheel. Seems to fit quite well. Suits the vehicle. Yeah, definitely. But the rest of the dash is just a, a black vinyl dash, as standard. Lovely. Uh, it did come with a centre console. Um, what, from factory? From factory, came with that centre console, but it just had the blanks in it, so I've put the, the actual gauges in, got yeah. those working. Also known as the CIS fuel injection in America, I suppose? I'll take your word for it. That's what um, a lot of the people watching are probably think. So I just put a bigger alternator on it to cope with the fridge and the second battery. So you've put a new alternate, a, a bigger alternator? Yeah, it's physically the same size, it's just got a 90 amp output, so. Wow. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you're new and we will see you in a new video. Turn up the 80s, sounds of the 80s. Rhapsody, the greatest hit the day my mama made me. 99 problems, why I do